The Earth's surface may appear stable, but it is constantly moving on a small scale. Most of this movement occurs regularly in response to tidal forces. In some places, there can be a subsidence of the land surface due to loss of groundwater or uplift due to tectonic forces. In volcanoes, ground movements can be very dynamic, and the rise and fall of the volcano provides clues to what is happening beneath the surface. In some volcanoes, the deformation can be extreme. For example, Campi Flegrii in Italy can see an increase of several meters by several feet in a short time. There are records from that area, and in the Galapagos, and in other coastal volcanic areas, deformation occurred so rapidly that fish were trapped as previously submerged areas rose above sea level. Deformation is less dramatic in Yellowstone. The land does rise and fall, but usually at a rate of a few centimeters, one to two inches, per year. Leveling measurements collected between 1923 and 1977 show the caldera rose by 72 centimeters, 28 inches, but then subsided in the 1980s before lifting again in the 1990s. Based on geological studies of terraces on the north side of Yellowstone Lake, it is clear that the caldera as a whole has shrunk by about 30 meters, 100 feet, over the last 14,000 years, since the end of the last ice age. Over the past two decades, monitoring of deformation in Yellowstone has been carried out by global positioning system stations. GPS is very useful because it provides data all year round, whatever the season. Since 2015, GPS data shows the Yellowstone caldera has been shrinking by about 2 to 3 centimeters, about 1 inch, every year. Land subsidence occurred throughout the caldera, visible at stations on the east side, near the Mud Mountain area, and on the west side, near Old Faithful. However, land subsidence is unstable. Each summer is punctuated by lows, or even small increases, 0.5 to 1 centimeter, or just a fraction of an inch. The seasonal lull in land subsidence begins just as river levels begin to rise due to runoff from spring snowmelt. This runoff not only causes rivers to flow higher and faster, it also recharges groundwater systems, and the soil swells, like a wet sponge. Groundwater is not the only cause of seasonal defamation in Yellowstone. There was also a visible signal near the shore of Yellowstone Lake. Thanks to all that runoff, the lake level rises quickly in the spring and then falls gradually over the summer. Changes in lake level can reach 1.5 meters, 5 feet. GPS stations near the lake can see the weight of all this water. In spring, as the lake level rises, GPS stations near the lake shore show a drop in the ground level of up to 2 centimeters, less than an inch. However, the lowering of the lake level will reverse as the lake level falls as the bowling ball slowly rises from the surface of the lake. Areas outside the caldera also experience some of these seasonal changes although they are usually less dramatic. However, land subsidence currently mostly only occurs in the caldera. The area around the Norris Geyser Basin deforms independently of the caldera and has experienced episodes of uplift and subsidence over recent years, indicating that water accumulated beneath the basin and was then released. Land movement in Yellowstone National Park is dynamic, changing from year to year and even season to season. Although the decline in the caldera surface has dominated since 2016, at some point it will increase again as happened in 2004 to 2009 and 2014 to 2015. 
It's all part of the rise and fall of one of the largest magmatic and hydrothermal systems on Earth. 